Hello, and welcome to Backyard Mushroom Identification. Uh, I'm Dr. Rue, and today we're going to be talking about the key features for identifying this beautiful mushroom, Paxillus cuprinus. One of the first things that you'll want to do when you have found an unknown mushroom is to set up a spore print. Uh, the, the color of the spores that come off of these gills uh, can be a key identifying feature and is often the very first step uh, in a guidebook for helping to identify a mushroom. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is you take your mushroom that you've harvested, and you're going to want to take a knife. Always be careful when you're carrying knives in the woods. Uh, use a sheath. Uh, and you're just going to want to cut off the stem right there so that you have a stem-free mushroom. And then you'll want to take a blank piece of paper, uh, it can be smaller than this, of course, and you want to place your mushroom on that piece of paper, and the spores will come off of the gills and deposit onto the paper. And then this process is humidity dependent, so you want to take a vessel, a cup or a bowl, and just cover your mushroom with that cup and let it sit. Uh, usually four or five hours is a perfect length of time. Let's talk about some of the key features necessary to identify this particular mushroom. Usually when I pull a mushroom, I like to smell it first. This mushroom has a very mild, kind of pleasant smell, very mushroomy, it's not terribly distinctive. Uh, some mushrooms have extremely distinctive odors, and the more mushrooms you smell, uh, the more easily you can key in on those distinctive, unique odors that will help you identify them. So smell every mushroom that you find. Uh, you'll notice the concentric zonation to the cap, that's the first step. You'll notice the coloration, this beautiful coppery color. Another key feature that you'll notice is this inrolled margin around the edge of the cap. In older books, this mushroom is listed as Paxillus involutus because of the inrolled margin. A key feature for this particular species this Paxillus crinus is that it stains quite dramatically as it bruises. So as we've handled this mushroom, you'll notice that the stems and the gills where we've touched them have turned quite dark brown. Another key feature that's important to look at when you're trying to identify a mushroom is the gills. Does it have gills? Does it have pores? Uh, if it has gills, are they uh, free or adnext or adnate? Which means how do they attach to the stalk? And so you can see, if we look at one of these younger specimens in particular, you can see that these gills actually run down the stalk, uh, but they have a little bit of a notching. Uh, but the really important thing to note in these gills is that they're forked. Uh, another character to look at is whether or not the stalk, the stipe, is central, centrally attached, or if it's lateral, on the edge, or somewhere in between. Uh, these will be features that you'll see in your mushroom text. And of course, David Aurora's Mushrooms Demystified is often considered the mushroom bible. Uh, Mushrooms Demystified is a great place to start if you don't have any idea what mushroom you're looking at. Uh, and so we can start uh, here in the Guild Mushroom section, and you'll notice that one of the first key breaks here is whether or not the spore print is white or buff, yellow, orange, lilac, or it's some other color, pinkish, salmon, brown, rusty orange, etc. Uh, and so this spore print will be key to identifying this mushroom if you don't know what it is. Now that a little bit of time has passed, we can check on our spore print. Uh, see, the mushroom is stuck in the cup here because it's kind of large. Um, and you can see that we have this beautiful copper brown, what we might call a sienna spore print. And that'll help us identify. So the other important thing to note about Paxillus crinus um, is that this is a poisonous species. Um, so it's important, you know, it's important to be able to identify mushrooms if you're interested in collecting them from the table. What's the, what's the old saying, right? Every mushroom is edible once. 